What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. I am rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the whole January transfer window with transfer deadline day looming for tomorrow 11pm GMT. I'm going to keep you guys up to date here on YouTube with all the latest Manchester City transfer news so when the news does drop do stay tuned to my channel. You can press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. It is free to subscribe and that will keep you up to date with all the latest Manchester City transfer content. I will be doing my daily series uh, as well from June for the summer window as well. So do subscribe. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, do leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. Do get your thoughts in the comments below. So, we're going to crack on with this video. We've got no contract news. We've got no ins news. We've got three stories to speak about in the outs. First player I want to speak about is Morgan Rogers. Now, you may be saying, JSGC, why are you speaking about Morgan Rogers? He is no longer a Manchester City player, and you'd be absolutely spot on, but just keeping an eye on the transfers that are happening out there. Morgan Rogers. He's set to sign for Aston Villa from Middlesbrough. Now, when Manchester City sold Morgan Rodgers to Middlesbrough, Manchester City had included a 25% sell-on fee. It means we're going to get a quarter of any fee that Middlesbrough get for Morgan Rodgers from Aston Villa. Now, the fee has been agreed at £8 million as an upfront fee. So, automatically, Manchester City don't have to do anything. We're going to get a quarter of that £8 million, which means Man City will get £2 million also included in the deal is £7 million in bonuses. So should them bonuses be achieved by Morgan Rogers at Aston Villa, then Manchester City could get a further £1.75 million from that deal. Uh, and that's just Manchester City including a sell-on clause there. So Manchester City could be accumulating a grand total of £3.75 million just for including a sell-on fee when we sold Morgan Rogers to Middlesbrough so that's the latest on that and some more cash there coming in to Manchester City and puts a little bit more money into Manchester City's transfer kitty for the summer as I'm not expecting Manchester City to do anything for the remainder of this window in particular when it comes to incomings now moving on we've got the very latest on Mika Hamilton youngster at Manchester City around the first team squad when we have seen him He's looked good, and so good, he's attracted interest from Watford in the Championship. They've inquired to Manchester City about Mika Hamilton, about taking him on loan for the rest of the season. Manchester City has said no. Manchester City's stance still the same as what it was from the beginning of the season. Uh, Hamilton is seen as a first-team squad player. He's going to stay around the Manchester City first team. He isn't going to be loaned out before transfer deadline day, and when that window does slam shut tomorrow... At 11pm GMT, he will remain a Manchester City player for the remainder of the season. And I imagine Manchester City will keep an eye and assess the situation for next season. Maybe loaned out, maybe sold, maybe used around the Manchester City first team squad. Manchester City, we've learned, can be quite ruthless, in particular when it comes to young players and leaving the club. Now, moving on to the final transfer to speak about. Not really a transfer, but it does involve Manchester City, but not a player. But the manager, Pep Guardiola, he's been speaking about his future in his press conference ahead of Manchester City's game with Burnley tonight. I've got my live watch along link already out on my channel if you want to go and set your reminders for that, as I will be doing a live watch along. We can chat about transfers if you so wish, so do go and set your reminders for that. I will see you at 7pm GMT tonight for that live watch along. So Pep Guardiola has said that he's got one and a half years left on his current contract. His contract isn't up until next summer, the summer of 2025. He said he could extend his contract. He could leave Manchester City. He's relaxed about the situation, as we all should be. Uh, he's done this twice with Manchester City before, and twice he has renewed. He tends to leave it to around November, December time, so just over six months left on his contract, and then he decides to sign an extension. Normally only comes in a one-year to two-year extension. Uh, he may choose to stay at Manchester City. He may choose to leave We'll have to wait and see. I imagine that if he does sign an extension, it will probably only be a 12-month extension, a rolling 12-month extension. And when Pep Guardiola decides that that's that and he wants to leave, he can do it without having too much responsibility or too much time remaining on his contract. 
Obviously, we've been keeping an eye on the situation with Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp and uh, him leaving. Uh, this situation with Pep Guardiola isn't quite as similar. When Pep does decide to leave Manchester City, I am almost certain, 99% certain, that he'll leave Manchester City when his contract is done and dusted. He won't be sacked as Manchester City's manager. He may choose to walk away early from his contract and resign. Uh, I reckon he'll probably, because he likes his 12-month rolling contract, he'll just say, do you know what? When I've done this season, my contract's up, I'm done and dusted. That's me walking away. Now, I do feel that a lot could come down to, and I felt like Pep Guardiola was hinting at this in his uh, press conference in the build-up to the Burnley game. A lot could come down to what happens with the 115 charges. I'm not expecting to hear anything anytime soon from that. We may hear a little bit more towards the end of this year. If it's not this year, it may be next year. And if Manchester City are found guilty and they're punished, what's the punishment going to be? And I think that's going to have a big influence on what Pep Guardiola decides to do next with Manchester City. If Manchester City is severely punished and there's a bit of a rebuild job for Manchester City to do, I feel like Pep Guardiola will sign a long-term deal with the club because he'll want to get them back on their feet. I don't see Pep Guardiola leaving Manchester City until he's ready to do so and Manchester City are in the best possible position and the best situation for him to walk away from the club. He will want to walk away from Manchester City on an extreme high. He won't want to leave the club in limbo. So I think a lot does come down to that. If Manchester City, the charges are dropped and nothing ends up happening and Manchester City go on to make history and win another Premier League or a Champions League, maybe, speculating here, Pep Guardiola may decide to walk away from the club, but he doesn't look exhausted, he doesn't look tired, he doesn't look fed up, uh, he's enjoying Manchester, he says he's got everything he needs at Manchester City, so we should all be relaxed about the situation, and I very much am relaxed about the situation. I know Liverpool's name's been getting out there, ridiculous, they're not getting Pep Guardiola. Manchester United's name's been put out there, ridiculous, they're not getting Pep Guardiola. Barcelona, Laporta, their president, he wants uh, Pep Guardiola. He's prepared to make a phone call to Pep to try and convince him to go to Barcelona. Ridiculous. Pep Guardiola has already said that he isn't going to manage Barcelona ever again. He'd be interested in going back to Barcelona, but in another capacity in the club, not being their head coach. He even spoke about how much pressure there is at Barcelona, uh, and he says that Manchester City, it's a lot more relaxed, it's a lot different, and Barcelona's a different kettle of fish, it's a different ball game there. Again, another hint, he's not going to Barcelona. Pep Guardiola is here to stay, he's going to see out his contract, he could even extend, and I certainly wouldn't rule that one out. We'll have a better indication of this later in the year, plus whatever may happen with the charges. Roller coaster ride, strap yourselves in, blues, it's ups and downs. I'll keep you up to date every single step of the way so there we go that has been today's transfer update if you did enjoy the video please do leave a thumbs up 300 likes is the aim get your thoughts in the comments below pep guardiola what are your thoughts about the situation are you relaxed let me know in the comments below subscribe if you're new around here press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on it's soap opera day tomorrow transfer deadline day i'll keep you up to date with all the latest manchester city transfer news as we head into deadline day it is free to subscribe now less than 400 subs away from my aim of 34,000 subscribers finally social media links they're in the description go and check out my twitter instagram and tiktok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries i'll see you for the live watch along tonight and for my next daily manchester city transfer update for deadline day tomorrow so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now